Let's just keep going. Because right. there's... I also did some gummy ship missions off uh, screen, guys. Oh, yeah. A lot of sort of achievements and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, we're going to warp back to Agrabah first. Okay. So that way we can actually go on the normal route to discover our newfound world. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, and this is the gummy I customized. Ooh. Looks fancy. Yeah. Unfortunately, you guys won't see the prompts for certain things like the shield that I equipped or the radar or seeing visible things. Right. If you really want to know, just equip them yourself, folks. Yeah. The gummy ship isn't that important. <laughs> yeah, but the shield basically, I can get into this, it acts as a second armor. All right, well, now these are going to be a bit easier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but also, keep in mind, folks, when your shield depletes, that's when the armor's going to start getting hit. Five hits on the shield, and it's gone until you get a shield with punch. Ah. That's helpful, though. Yeah. Although, some of the missions, I should probably get into this now, yeah. um, require you to not get hit. Oh, yeah, that's, that's about what I expected. Probably expected. And you notice the power is also more. I don't know exactly what causes the power to increase. <laughs> um... Well, I just know whatever equipment I put on, there you go. Yeah. Oh, God. That's one hit. Well, at least the gummy ship's a lot better now than it was last time. <laughs> yes, because I actually took the time to customize. Oh, yeah. Also, I got, like, I equipped it with um, two things that um, are supposed to, but I don't know why it doesn't sometimes, because... It's a little finicky, because it's supposed to grab uh, an item that's out of your gummy ship's immediate range. Ah. Uh, but for some reason, I can't get the damn thing to work. Ah. Stupid ships. Die, die, die! Oh, what the heck? Whoa. Those things look annoying. Also, specials will heal your shield as well. Like that. They are restore everything you have. Oh. How convenient. Also, oh, I got a turbo boost. Geronimo! Oh, God. Yeah, oh, you, boy. You activate that by holding the square. Halloween Town. And no, not the Disney Channel original movie bullshit. <laughs> I would hope not. God, oh, if they boy. ever put any of those in Kingdom Hearts 3, I am going to rip Tetsuya Nomura a new one. I think they know better. At least I would hope they would know better. <laughs> God, I would hope they know better. Yep. I just feel like I should point that out in case, you know, the younger audience don't know or never played this and are probably think, oh, we're going to go to the Halloween Town from the movie Halloween Town. No. Nope. A different kind of Halloween Yeah, and town. this was the original Halloween Town. Yes. Whoa. This and is how we blend in. Oh. Shores a spooky place. I'm, I'll bet the people here are scary looking too. No, don't worry. I'm spooky too. <laughs> this guy just got right back. <laughs> you think so? Probably. Damn it, Donald. Alright, save point right here from the get-go. Um, Yo. So, yeah. You're probably wondering, hmm, I wonder what this could possibly be. But I'll just say this right now. This is the setting for my favorite Disney movie of all time. And? Oh, Heartless. Oh, I haven't seen these ones in a while. Or have we not seen these ones at all? Uh, we've seen them before okay. in Atlantica. Right, right. I we thought thought so. Hmm, but we can't attack them. They're just standing. Here. This is their home. It's all. Are you sure? I, I mean, I don't think they're supposed to act like that. Well, anyway, they they must like it here. I don't know. Maybe you're the bad guy now. Oh, okay. We just get into a cutscene. Okay. I'm not gonna say. What? Is, okay, now we got a character. Allow me to introduce the mayor. The yes. Of terror, the king <gasps> of nightmares, Jack Skellington! Yeah. Yes. Yes, folks. 
This is based on The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Done by Tim Burton. Well, he didn't direct it, it was just Bravo, something he created, but still. Yep. Because it was based on a uh, short poem that he did. Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Which, one of the DVD extras um, actually had Christopher Lee, of all people, read the poem version. Huh. God rest his soul. I'm going to consult the doctor. Um, goodbye. But yeah. I'll go attend to the decorations. Good. We get Halloween early. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Oh, and unfortunately, unlike uh, past worlds where they mostly resemble uh, the the movie they're from, right. at least up until this point. Well, this is this is more of an original plot because well, yeah. well, you'll see. I say more, not but. so much completely. Yeah, there was a chest behind the uh, steps here, but also we can go up here. This is Jack's house. Oh. Let's pull on the doorknob. <laughs> Oh, he pranked you! Once. Twice. Stupid spot. And thrice. There's a uh, reason I'm doing this. Of course. Because we get an elixir. Oh, wow. It just opens our, it slams on our face and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll give you an elixir. <laughs> leave, that, leave my house alone. Just take this and leave. <laughs> Basically. I'm gonna check around to see if there's anything more just to make sure. Well, I know there's some up there, but I can't get there yet. Yeah, I gotta guess, wait for things to develop. Yep. Uh, although I could probably make the one up here because I have a high jump. I, say, I don't know why I keep thinking like you'll eventually get the ability to wall jump. Yeah. I don't know why I keep thinking that. No, you don't get the wall jump. Nope. <laughs> Alright, I need, I need to get a higher man. I guess I'm thinking different mechanics and later things. Uh or just different series all together because you never get a wall or jump. Or that, yeah. I mean... Or, actually, no, you don't get a wall jump-esque thing until Dream Drop Distance. Okay, that's the one I'm thinking of, then. Mm -hmm. All right. Just thought I'd check. All right, let's go to this laboratory. The laboratory. And... Ooh. Yeah, don't understand. Uh, Dr. Finkelstein. The guidance system was damaged in the ah. explosion. Right, right, I forgot about Dr. Finkelstein. Yeah. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. What they're trying... So they already know about the hearts. Heart. They're giving them hearts? Yeah. We We're can trying to... Okay, to yeah. They're trying to create... They're trying to control these heartless in particular with a artificial heart. Hmm. But it's not complete yet. Of course. First, take a so we'll need a couple more ingredients. Oh, wow. And it looks like we got a keyhole thing. We need the key to this thing first. We need the key to open his heart. Hmm. You really get a knocking on him? Why not? If they succeed, we won't have to fight the Heartless, right? No. Uh, besides, I want to see the Heartless dance too. No. Don't you? No. Not me. Really. <laughs> My, that was oh. amazing. Uh, right. You are. <laughs> I forgot so, you have a key. Well, yeah. Um, I should know that. I have a key that unlocks. Uh, be a part of this I have a universal key that unlocks every lock, don't you know? Yeah, apparently. Here? You're the greatest hey, lock picker the this world has ever known. Yeah, and I don't need special tools for it. Frustrating, isn't it? You just need your key. Mm -hmm. That so, axe is also a sword. The doctor and I are trying to improve it's the really... system. One of the best. It's my own uh, personal Swiss Army knife. Yes, personal Both defense tool that can open just about anything, the mm -hmm. including a person's chest. Pulse. Emotion, mm -hmm. terror. Emotion, terror. Ooh. Fear, fear. The... Hope oh, okay. And despair. And despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. Yeah, sure. What about the blood? But eh, I guess that doesn't matter. Whatever. They don't know about blood until Kingdom Hearts 2. <gasps> oh shit! It's alive, I think. Nope. No! We didn't put these inside the heart. What are we doing? We 
fishing. Yeah, it's still missing some ingredients. Oh, now you're going to be the pack mule. Uh, yep. Memory. Yep. Sally. Sally. Oh, God. Good for nothing, girl. Don't know why I thought you were reading her. Because you're Sally's too lazy to do shit yourself? Need. Yes. See if well, then again, you are in a wheelchair, down. so I don't yeah. know. Maybe your legs are broken no or something. Problem. Sora, would you Maybe. like to come along? Hmm? Sure. Cool. I get to hang out with Jack Skellington. Yeah. And he's now in our party. Ooh. So, I used Goofy last time, right? I believe you did. Because yeah. you love Goofy. <laughs> Alright, so we'll switch him out for Donald. Uh, for Jack, yeah, sorry. Don, you're finally getting your time to shine. Yep, at least until the next world. Yes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to something here, but I might need to Ooh, Jack's else. got a lot of health. Oh, yeah, there is. Torn page! There we go, another one! Yep. Oh, boy. So that means after this world, it's food time again. Oh, man. I'm crapping too much for one day. Oh yeah, Chris ran into the voice of Jack Skellington in this game. Mm -hmm. wasn't, the, wasn't the original voice actor, was it? Oh, oh yeah, I guess I... That's but right. I do know, uh, in terms of original voices, Danny Elfman was the singing voice of Jack Skellington in the original movie. I think this guy was the original voice actor. Okay. It says he was in Nightmare Before Christmas, so I'm just gonna assume yeah, he was. Okay. But yeah, Danny Elfman was the, the singing voice for Jack. In, ah. In Nightmare Before Christmas, so... Okay. Jack, let's see. Nightmare Before Christmas is 93. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, it was him. Chris Sarandon. Well, the Harlows are acting up. Dang it, we blew it! You blew it! I did no such thing. They blew it! Yeah, also, I probably should have had Goofy in, a, in the party at this point, because Jack is also a mage. Right. Hmm. Jess Harnell did the voice Which, of Dr. Uh, Finkelstein. Now that I think about it... Stock. 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 There you go. Alright, equipment. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what elementals uh, or he's going to encounter. Well, I mean, obviously the fire ring means he's going to encounter fire ring. Hmm. Dang it. Alright, you know what? I'll temporarily give him the element ring. Just remind me before we exit this world to... Take the element ring off? Yep. Alright. You got it. And... Yeah, I'll give him the important band as well. Uh, also, let's take a look at Jack's abilities. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yep. Applause, blaze, blazing fury, ice terror, bolts of sorrow, uh, ghostly scream... Ooh. MP Rage, Jack Five, Cheer. Nice. And two treasure magnets that I can't equip. Damn. Okay, yeah, Jess Harnell did the voice of the uh, Dr. Finkelstein. Okay. He was Fatso in Casper, and he was the voice of a particular guy in uh, Ratchet and Clank games. Thank you. Uh, Nefarious? Uh, maybe. Oh, he's also the voice of uh, Wacko in Animaniacs. Oh, cool. And Elvis Presley, and <laughs> plenty of other numerous characters that showed up on Animaniacs. Yeah, that's another big time guy. Uh, Animaniacs, that was a good, that was a good show. Did I say Jeff Hornell? I meant Jess Hornell. But either way, yeah. Yeah, Animaniacs was freaking awesome. Yes, it was. I wish the camera would cooperate so that way I can... Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, and Jeff Bennett did Mayor of Halloween Town. He's the one doing that guy. Okay. Oh, don't tell me he did Johnny Bravo. That would be amazing. Okay, I can't go here <laughs> now. So, oh, god damn it, Heartless. Okay, so I can get this one right now, which is a power-up. Ooh. Leroy and Stitch? I forgot that was a thing. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Ignoring that. Yeah. The but, Jungle Book 2. Forgot that was a thing too. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get the chest that's over there in that thing's mouth. Okay. Uh, 
Not yet. No, not yet. Like a whole nother world, not yet. Okay. Dang you, Len! I mean... Oh, wait, that's whole new. Shit! Huh? Oh. I was looking at it, I couldn't even see him. I was like, what are you hitting? Is he invisible? No, the shadows just blend in more in this world. I see now. Okay. Yeah, they have... Somehow they have camouflage. Don't know how the hell that worked. Huh. Wow. Oh, in fact, Jeff Bennett was credited in the Ren and Stim Stimpy show for people screaming in one episode. Wow. Oh, yeah. But, by the way, I should probably do my customize uh, thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... Regular attacks constantly, special attacks frequently, items in emergency, and also, um... I think this is good for now? Yeah, Probably. it should be good. Because, um, coming up is, uh, hopefully a, another white mushroom room, because you can have white mushrooms appear in the graveyard. Huh. And this is gonna be for our final arts. Ooh. Oh, right, cutscene, so I don't think we can. Damn it. Let's check this place, uh, too, once the Heartless, uh, he here are out of our way. Yes, you do that. I think I was looking for one thing, but now I can't fight. Oh man. Alright, so it's ghosts. I keep forgetting how many of these Disney movies also had TV shows spawn off of them. Yeah. See, Hercules had one. Yeah. Simone and Pumbaa had one. I remember that one. I remember Little Mermaid had one, uh, Lion had one. Yeah. Uh, Baloo from Jungle Book had one. Yeah, I remember that too. Dang it. Hey, it's Zero. Huh. Zero, have you seen Sally anywhere? I about that dog. How could you forget it? I... I've only seen this movie once, and it was a long time ago. She was hiding behind a grape stone the entire time? How did we not see her before? No, seriously, I, I could have sworn I actually saw that, saw that was there, and she wasn't there. Hmm. So where the hell did you come from? She blends in very well. Forget me not. One of the ingredients. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing oh my god, Jeff Bennett I was the voice of Johnny Bravo. Oh my god. So that's the mayor! It's Johnny Bravo! <laughs> oh god. Man, I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And the funny thing is, a lot of the... Like, the concept behind Johnny Bravo is the way he is. Yeah. It, it was done by two females. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be some, like, weird, like, Elvis impersonation that was supposed to be, like, obviously not. Mm -hmm. oh, I forget that girl's name. Is it Jane? <laughs> or am I thinking the wrong thing? Shit. Uh, you're probably thinking the wrong thing? Yeah, I don't know her name. Are you talking about the little girl? Did you hear that? Yeah, the fucking, yeah, no, yeah, the Susie. Uh -huh. Oh. What should we do? Okay. Oh, fucking Susie. I, I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, and these little fucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, those assholes. Yeah, Locke, Shock, and Barrel. Yeah. Locke is the one with the devil mask. Shock is the witch. Uh, dress up, uh, trick or treater. And Barrel is the skeleton one. Oh. They're all real children, by the way. They're Ooh. not monsters. Huh. Bastards. 